Greetings friends, it's Chris Fifo here again, and it's my favorite day of the year. It's time to transplant Echinaceae. Now don't go looking for a propagation video on these Echinaceae. I didn't do one because these are propagated from tissue culture. Darwin Perennials partners with a series of labs around the world to produce these in petri dishes for us that are shipped to us, and then our root and cell partners will get these established in the liners, and that's most likely what you'll be getting in. One thing I like about the sombreros, and it's really the biggest factor about these, is that they don't require vernalization for flowering. Full flower power the first year without vernalization. And so that's going to save us a lot of time and it's going to make it a lot easier for scheduling as well. We've got detailed scheduling information for Mother's Day and also for fall flowering, which sombreros really stand up in the fall garden center. And so as I unpack these from a supplier, I do want to kind of check out, they're pretty leafy. I want to check out for botrytis, any possible disease in here. I'm not seeing anything. And as I pull them out, look at those roots. I'm excited about that. These are going to take right off. These are mature. These are ready to go. I'm not really worried about them being too root bound or anything. Another thing I notice on some of these is that they're very well branched. Now, one thing some suppliers do is they use a product called Configure. This is a branching agent. This is going to get more lateral branches at the bottom here and lead to more flower power for you. If you ever have any questions on if a supplier has used this or any other PGRs or anything, check with your supplier. They're happy to help you out, provide any information you might uh, have questions on and happy to help you have success with these crops. Now, as I transplant these, one per into, you know, I like Echinacea sombreros in one gallon containers. You know, for demonstration purposes, this pot is going to do just fine. We can go up to one and a half. And one thing I've seen some suppliers doing, um, some finished growers are using three plugs in a very large container and it just makes an incredible display when they do finish. As I finish transplanting these and bring them out to the greenhouse, I want to make sure I bring my echinacea into the same house as my flocks, as my buddleias. I want to grow them warm and I want to grow them with long day lighting either night interruption lighting, which is a light bulb turning on from 10 p.m. until 2 a.m., or day extension lighting. And so what this is gonna do, it's gonna make these think it's summertime when they naturally flower, and they're gonna initiate flowering. And after about five weeks, that flower is gonna be initiated, then we can turn our long day lighting off and grow them as normal. As they get established and really start coming on, that's when we can cool them off a bit too. So 60 degrees to begin with, night temperatures, we could drop that down to 50 as they come into flower and as they reach finish. We're back five weeks later with FIFO and Barstool, or that'd be Chris and Darren to you guys. <laughs> and we're with our crop of Echinacea sombreros. We're coming along really nicely here. We've been growing them warm with night interruption lighting, and we now have that budding going on with these. So what would you do next, Darren? I would just continue what we're doing, um, keep the temperatures as they are, maybe maybe a little B9. A little, a little bit of B9 seven. could tone them could up tone nicely. Could tone them a little bit nice, but as you're seeing, the, look at the branching on that plant. It yeah. is just fantastic. There's going to be a lot of blooms in there. Yeah, I wouldn't want to put too much PGR on these. That could delay the flowering just a little bit. I think shutting our night interruption lighting off, that is going to help control yep. the stretch in itself. But as these go to bud, they're going to continue to branch out and we're going to have tremendous flower power on these Echinaceae. The bonus of these, we started with actively growing plugs, right. didn't we? And yes, what's we did. the benefit of that? The benefit of that is that these will finish two weeks faster than a dormant plug. So. We didn't have to spend that time right. breaking dormancy and therefore, they're a lot more uniform. Right. This is a spot on crop, uniform flowering. These are going to be good to go.